good soul of Glasgow. Fuck it, let's review Sonic 4. And another guy's fish. Sometimes I like to look inside the window to see if anybody's trying anything on. That looks well dodgy, all of that. And now on BBC Scotland, a special treat to see in the bells with Jimmy Shands. Hooray for Hogmanay. Well, no special programme such as this involving Shans on stage would be complete if we didn't have this very special tune. A tune that was to put Jimmy Shand and his dance band at top of the pops in the 50s. The first and in fact the only traditional Scottish country dance band to do so. This was a tune. What a thrill with darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill I'm searching and I'll melt it to you. What a fear in my heart, but just so supreme. I give my life not for honour, but for you stick it in my time. There'll be nobody else. Crime, it's the way I fly to you. Stick it I'm still in the dream. Stick it someday you go through. This is so boring. It's the same every year, TV shite. I know, see since fucking Jackie Bird's whole street was swallowed by that sinkhole and they never found the body. It's just... I know, it was either her or Hoot Nanny every year, wasn't uh, it? Hoot Nanny, more like, no nanny, I'm a big boy now, I'm going to decide when I go to my bed. Exactly. Uh, what, what have you got in? Are you got anything in? Uh, have you got shortbread? No, I've no shortbread. Have you got fucking... Madeira cake? No, no, Madeira cake. Uh, I'll I, I tell you what I do have. I've got this. Nice. We could have a wee whiskey, talk yeah. about some games, maybe our top five games of the year this year. Make it a short video because there's not much whiskey in there. Not much left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I can talk about our top five games and okay. see, see in the bells that way. Yeah. yeah, sounds good. Right, so while well, I'm pouring this, what's our number five game of the year? So our number five game of the year is Ease 8. <laughs> Eight. Lacrimosa of Dana. What's that? Lacrimosa of Dana. Like growing up, you remember when they were teaching you words? Right. So there was apple, mm. uh, brown, <laughs> cat, cat, Dana, uh, Dana, <laughs> Dana. <laughs> and then uh, like elephant, Fred, golf, uh, hotel, uh, indigo. Uh, jackfruit. It's funny seeing you commit to this. <laughs> jackfruit. <laughs> Kilogram. And, and then lacrimosa. lacrimosa. Right. Why is it good? Uh, why, is uh, it, why is it number five? Tell no, me. November. Tell, no. Uh, yeah. Why is it? Why is it number five? It's just such a great fun action RPG. Like Xenoblade Chronicles Two. Mm. But see, when you get really into it, you've got like layers of like special moves yeah. and elementals. Like. Pain in the arse is what you're saying. Yeah, pain in the arse. Yeah. Certainly for folk who are maybe more casual yeah. to that kind of genre. Because like... <laughs> well, because action RPGs are quite different to like, just the regular, like, right, my guys will line up here, your guys line up there, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we'll meet in the middle and have a fight and then we'll back away. Uh, like, Final Fantasy style. Oh, 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 we're <laughs> oh, 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 in danger. We'll be back, yeah. off, back away. Um, and I think Ease um, 8, it's just a really straightforward version of that. You've got tons of exploration to do. You, you yeah. land on like this forgotten island, this like mythical island. Um, but it's just got this lovely wee story going on. Eventually you've got a dual narrative going on. You've got the kind of present day on the island. Mm. It's just really charming. The music's really good fun. The characters are fun and colourful. There's plenty of costumes and shit like that you can unlock, accessories and all that. And each character has their own nice distinctive fight styles. It's really easy to swap between characters on the go. So. I loved it. It's it's this year's Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Apart from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, <laughs> the DLC. Torna, the Golden yeah. Country, which I've not played enough of. Okay. Oh, Bobby's Pizza. Oh, the old scout. Bobby's Pizza It's a margarita Bobby's Pizza Sigurdekmas 
Toby's Pizza. Number four game of the year is Shenmue 1 and 2. Even though the music sounds like, you know that Jurassic Park video? <laughs> yeah, with the melodica, yeah. <laughs> It doesn't sound great. <laughs> <laughs> to the credit, they have fixed a lot of their shoot. There's still, be, still things to be wrong here or there, but not enough, I think, to stop the true, the kind of core of the game, which is something really special and unique from coming yeah. to it. Like, there's no game like Shenmue, like, even mm -hmm. since, even Yakuza, which is like a Shenmue successor, there's no game like it, you know? Nothing is interesting mm -hmm. and weird and yeah. sort of boring, but also exciting at the same time. The fact that we get to play it now on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, mm -hmm. and obviously the PC version is probably the one to go for because like, the fans can patch it quicker than Sega can, the list looks of things, you know? Yeah. I think it's important because it's it's becoming harder and harder now, I think, to play some older games. Even if it's not the, the perfect form that it, yeah. it should have been, A, they're improving it, and B, it still means you don't need to faff about with either. Yeah. Finding a copy uh, yeah, online yeah, yeah. somewhere, yeah. and then running it on your fucking computer like a Deck, yeah, or trying to fix your game, uh, your Dreamcast. I don't think you fixed mine, mine's just fine. I thought the laser was busted. No, there's, there's no dash drive in it, it's just an SD card. So I found myself a wee coffee. Woo! <laughs> 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 And what's funny is that noise only works it, <laughs> if you think about it, like it's kind of like the noise of the fucking Ecto One. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joe, you'll never guess what I got down the shop. Oh, what'd you, what'd you got? I got the new special edition for Skyrim Two. Oh, nice. Cost a pretty penny, but it's worth it. Let's see. Is that it? And that's it. That's a special edition of Skyrim. Yeah, it was one of the special editions, yeah. Right, well, what's the what's special about it? Well, firstly you get this Skyrim 2 branded bag. Uh, so, inside it you get... Well, you get this first, so... It's blank at the moment, but what you do is you get the... It comes with a pen, and as you're playing the game, you... Uh, you, you draw... Ah, there we go. You, you draw the map. And obviously the pen. I can use the pen at work and stuff. Uh, you get the... You get a soundtrack CD. Which is pretty nice. Uh, let's see what else. I mean, obviously, the this edition doesn't come with the, the other piece of the badge. But right. you get the back. Oh, right. The back of the badge. So if... Oh. If I was to then buy the the one hundred pound special edition, I would get the front of the badge. How much does this cost you? This was eighty. Obviously, the big thing though is you get the ceremonial. You get the ceremonial. Um, I think it's the blade of dragons. I mean, it says kitchen devils on there, but it's like the kitchen dragon blade. I'll just put it back in the bag, guys. Just... Glad you bought it in. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's when you buy the special edition, it's to get you more into the the game, and it's also a way to like say thanks to the folk who've made like a game that you know you're going to love and enjoy for hours and hours and hours. All right, well, uh, well I'll, I'll put it on then. Let's have a shot. Oh, it didn't come with the game. Our number three game of the year is, of course, Yakuza, Yakuza Kiwami Two. two. Such a fucking good game. Mm. It's 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 a from the ground remake of Yakuza 2, which, as we've said numerous times, is the kind of forgotten Yakuza game. Came out right at the fucking end of PlayStation 2's life cycle. But Yakuza 2 was very much kind of in this wee bubble where like second-hand copies were really expensive. Um, so it kind of again limited itself down. And now they're not. <laughs> What I like about what they've done with Kiwami and Kiwami 2 is it's like a wee best of. It's like, here's the story of this game, but then you get a best of look at all the features. Although, last thing I'll say about it, as a diehard fan, it's weird that they've changed Camarocho's layout. 
like the karaoke place is the same place from Yakuza 6, uh, but it shouldn't be there. It's weird that they kind of just, there's weird errors like that. Yeah. I mean, that's errors, like, listen to me talk. But uh, it was a wee bit odd being like. Mistakes. You're like, yeah. Sega, Sega. 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 I know what I'm talking about. I know, but I know where the karaoke bar had camera was. Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would like to speak to your manager. Mr. Sega. <laughs> Mr. Sega, I am disgusted to see that the fucking karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, fucking, the fucking karaoke isn't where it should be on Pink Street. <laughs> yes, I'll hold. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's, but other than that, it's uh, and that's a very little. Uh, and it, it doesn't fucking bother me or anything. It's, uh, it just made me very angry for uh, a short period of time. How but, about you? But it is a fun game of the year. Yeah, probably uh, you. What do you it's just, it's, it's, I just think it's. <laughs> Yes, I'm still here! <laughs> he's the leader of the bunch and you know him well He's finally back and to kick some tail He's coconut gun can fire and spits If you shoot shit boy it's gone eh huh? He's bigger, he's faster and he's stronger too He's the first member of the DK crew DK, a Donkey Kong, a DK Donkey Kong How about our big number two. Our big number two, and of course, the ultimate. <laughs> Smash Brothers Ultimate. Uh, which is the biggest Smash Brothers game I think that's ever been made. It's, like, it's got mm -hmm. more ca all the characters and all the Smash Brothers. It's a silly games. thing to say, but okay. What? The biggest Smash Brothers. Of course, it's the biggest one ever. Well, no, but the well, thing is, like, don't all. I'm only bamming you up. Yeah, okay. Sorry, right, calm down. It's fine, it's fine. All the characters, most of the three. <laughs> is this Scott's mum? <laughs> I'd like to make a complaint about your stupid fucking son. <laughs> yes, I'll hold. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, that's the end of that. All the characters, all the characters, most of the stages, yeah. are all new one player fucking JRPG mode where you mm. level up your uh, yeah. wee guys to power you up and stuff like that. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's mental how much stuff's in it. And, the, and like the, the attention to detail, like, I mean, have fucking. Dracula yeah. is the, the boss in the Castlevania bits and you can only hurt him by hitting him in the head. Yeah, it's amazing. The same as the game. Yeah. Um, huge Ganon is brilliant fun. Yeah. There's just so many like fun, clever wee moments and there's a lot of care and attention going into it. Mm. I hope it's the last one because I don't think Sakurai I think could it, survive. I know I could die if it was a <clears> um, yeah. But I don't know where they would go from here. I think it would just be constantly adding more yeah. to it. I feel like this is the hit a point where they're like, right, single player is as good as you could make a fighting game single player. Certainly that style of thing. Yeah. Because you're right, was it Subspace Emissary or something Aye, from, like that? From Brawl. Right? Yeah, which was kind of boring. Boring. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, d I don't see where else they could go with it now beyond like, right, we'll add even, even yeah. more characters. So I feel like this is kind of it for Smash, but yeah. I think I'm, I'm happy with that. I think they've done amazingly. It's almost like when you played Mario Kart 8 and you're like, where do they go from now? But yeah. uh, except, except, I suppose Mario Kart, they just had me a fucking track. Mario Kart 9. <laughs> He's right though. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Shigeru Miyamoto. <laughs> I've got an idea. Uh, yes, I'll fucking hope. <laughs> <laughs> Yakuza 6 is the number one game of the year because it just feels bit, it's more important than Yakuza Kiwami 2. Like you could, mm -hmm. you could, you could just about say that Yakuami 2 is a more advanced game, yeah. more polished and all that. But Yakuza 6, it's just after playing as Kazuma Kiryu for so long, mm -hmm. it's so nice to play his last chapter, mm -hmm. the last chapter of a long story in a video game series, and it not be shit. Yeah. Like how how rare is that? How rare is it that yeah. you get the last chapter and it's actually really good, mm -hmm. really emotional, really well written, really tight actually. It's a really kind of it's a really mm -hmm. tightly written story. You know, it's not too yeah. flabby. Um, two beautiful cities to explore, an amazing fighting system with some of the funniest heat moves. I think the series has had. Fucking beat Takeshi. Yeah, uh, fucking beat Takeshi in it as well. Just an amazing and then the uh, fucking Haruto. Yeah, the whole game is just it's. it's it's, it's sad, it's a but thing. it's also joyous. It's yeah, amazing. it is. It's, yeah. I mean, we've, we've talked about it. Yeah, until we're did a whole live show about it and everything. Second, oh fuck, so we did. Yeah. It's a great story. It, it, it brings all the themes of the Yakuza series all back to 
the basics has always been about family, it's always been about responsibility. Yeah. Um, and age, age I think is a big thing as well, like I mean this one definitely deals more with the fact that like when Kazuma's out there and he's beating folk up, like a, they're a lot younger yeah, than he is. Yeah. And there's even a few fights where you're fighting folk who are younger and they then, they kind of, even after the fights they're like fine. To be honest, even though Kazuma's strong, it's like these younger guys are probably just as strong as he is now. I was just going to say, Kazuma's like a typical baby boomer. Just Destroying the future of all these <laughs> poor millennials. So. Um, and the the end it builds up so well to like obviously we, the ah, last thing we ever want to do is spoil anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's an end that at times was really surprising um, in terms of where the characters go and no. what they experience. Um, and it still has silly moments. Like there's a big reveal in Onomichi that is one of the daftest Things reveals of yeah. any video game ever. But I love it. But it's it's so fitting yeah, yeah. for that series. It's a beautiful game. I understand why it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I don't fucking drink tea. So. <laughs> no, I don't drink whiskey. <laughs> anyway, that's been our top five games of the year. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Let's get back and see what's in the telly and see you in the bells, eh? Mm -hmm. Time to make sure that you have charged your glasses for the stroke of midnight. Before we count down to midnight, though, with some stunning shots from around the country, get ready, it is only seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> Nice, it? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna wait and see if you were gonna say something. <laughs> Just, you end up being late for work. Why was I late? Why are you late for work? Sure, I fell asleep. <laughs> Me and my best friend fell asleep on the sofa. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Right, cool. It's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> right, cool. When should I start recording? Do a jump? I think it would. <laughs> Can you not do a jump? <laughs> That's quite good. Can you not do a jump, Joe? E3 is almost upon us. Yep. Probably chat on these coffees. Yeah. It's just not. It's, what's making me smile is how natural this all feels. Who we always drink coffee in the kitchen. <laughs> it, wait a minute. I'll, I'll come over. Wait there. No, don't start with Q's account. Let's that again. When you go. We have to do that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to do that yeah. again. Jump! Joe! Do a jump! Wait, <laughs> 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 Right, okay. I don't even know how I'm starting. <laughs> I thought you was rearranging your cupboard. No. Um, so, that's way slick. Turn your because you're going right. like straight on, like just like a lean. <laughs> Try and look cash. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, on a big jump. Come on, do a jump. What the fuck, God? Can you not do a jump? <laughs> Sorry. Right, okay. Okay. Right, okay. I, 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 uh, you didn't give me a bad time. Right, okay. Right. 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 You know what my favourite feature is? 
and fight. I thought it was a spider, but it was a hair. This is so weird. <laughs> My hair is fucked up. Right, this is meant to be a 10 second I love how you're going to get in, don't I? We are. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Cool. Hammer. <laughs> 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 Maybe we could just do an outtakes video. Yeah.